So a couple days ago, we watched ZOM 100, <laughs> Bucket List of the Dead, yes. which is a new Japanese um, live action ser uh, movie, uh -huh. but there is a anime of the same name that was airing week to week on Netflix. I don't know if it's done or not yet, but we have not watched that. No. Nor have we read an, a manga, if there is one. I think there nope, is. we've only watched this movie. We just watched the movie. That's all we got to talk about <laughs> here. So we sat down, we watched this. Um, FYI, it is, you know, subtitled. They have a dub. Um, and it is, like, two hours and eight minutes long. Yeah. So it could be a little longer for some people. Um, this is about a guy who hates his job. Can anyone relate? Um, <laughs> and he really doesn't want to go back to work. No. Nope. And then, you know, uh, luck be a lady tonight. The zombie apocalypse breaks out. And uh, he don't got to go back to work. He don't. And now he can live his life. And he decides he's going to make a bucket list. Yep. And he's going to try to do everything on that bucket list before... The uh, zombies get him, so he sets out on a journey to to accomplish what he wants to accomplish, and that's <laughs> the movie. Um, so I, I'll let you go first because I talk too much. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you're just explaining the movie. <laughs> I, I I thought this was a fun movie. I had a I had a fun time watching it. Um, do you think that it gets very silly and ridiculous at the end? But it does feel like it feels like an anime, honestly. Yeah. And I haven't watched too many live action like Japanese television shows, but there's been a couple like random anime adaptations that I've watched and they all kind of have the same feeling where they're a little like corny, kind of hokey feeling. But I enjoy it. I think if you if you are a fan of anime, I don't know. Well, it's hard to say because we always talk about like if you watch this anime, I don't know how it compares to the actual anime. But if you like anime <laughs> and you don't mind like live app action adaptations, then it would be worth you know like, how many people out. exist like that. Not many. No. I know it's like a really niche. I I, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to like this movie. I guess that's kind of why I'm like, I'm dancing around it. Why? Why dance around it? But just say it. I, d I don't know. I'm just like trying to talk to the people that will like it. I mean, you just need to talk but, to everybody and give them a, a good picture so they understand <laughs> what to look out for. <laughs> everybody. I think, I think most people will think that it's too silly and corny and cheesy. And kind of like melodramatic. I mean, I don't know how much Japanese stuff they're watching, especially like yeah. anime, because this absolutely feels like one. So the film is very lighthearted. Yeah. And this has got to be one of the only zombie movies in the history of zombie movies I've ever watched that's especially over two hours long, where basically outside of some at the very, very ending, but like no zombies are killed yeah right this is this is a movie where they just like run past them yeah they run right? past them they push them aside but the whole film is very playful it is it's very pg-13 it it's 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 about our character is this like you know aw shucks like really sweet guy yeah. who's been down on his luck and now he just wants to be the best him he can be mm -hmm. And the, the film is about optimism, and mm. it's obviously this kind of social commentary of the Japanese work ethic and how people, and, and that happens here too, but I know in Japan it's even worse. Way like, worse. People dedicate themselves to their job. Yeah. Their job is their life. Um, I've heard that it's like an it's seen as like an honorable death to like have a heart attack and die at work because like that's what you're meant to do. You're meant to just be like 
you know, a robot who goes in and achieves as much as they can before they expire. And this is somebody who's, you know, this is, this is a movie for like the youth, uh, of, of, uh, of all countries, but, but it's probably, especially this one, right. Or they're trying to say like, your life doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. You don't have to meet a specific standard to be successful. Like there's success in just happiness. Right. And I, I think that this film isn't trying to be Dawn of the Dead or, you know, any of those kinds of things. No. This, this is really just like it's not even trying you, to be like Shaun of the Dead either. It's and 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 Dawn of the Dead and Shaun of the Dead and those films, they have their social commentaries as yes. well. And, and they kind of have a similar message in the zombies where the zombies are the people who go to work. The zombies are the people who conform mm -hmm. and the people who break away from that are the ones who are alive. Right. So the living versus the dead and the dead are the workers and, and, and the ones who are free and free themselves of, of their like bondage, basically. Yeah. Um, are, are the ones that are, you know, uh, happy. So for that, I really enjoyed it. And I think that the main character is so sweet um, and so determined and so good in nature. So this is one of those he films is. where you're like, you have to be a lot of a lot of horror fans they're very into like nihilism and oh, they like yeah. the darkness <laughs> of the movies yeah. right they're like oh no 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 like i watch it for it to be violent and i watch it for it to be dark and i watch it for there to be terrible people and terrible things happening to good people or whatever yeah. and this movie is just like pure optimism yeah pure sweetness you could show this to my children are 10 I'd have no problem with them watching this, yeah. right? Like there's nothing that happens. That being said, one of my very favorite, if not my favorite monster creatures of the year does exist in this film <laughs> for just how absolutely it's absurd so that it absurd. is. And it was so unexpected because at that point in the movie, an hour and a half in, I basically, I thought I had had it all figured out. Yeah. We're just going to get, these mindless running zombies and this kid doing his bucket list and having a good time. And then a different monster shows up oh my and completely changes things. It was so unexpected. But even with that addition, the film, the film still continues to be super playful, yes. super lighthearted. And even something like Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse Right, where that's way more fun. Yeah. Or zombies of mass destruction, or I can name a plethora of zombie comedies, undead, whatever. Right. Um, this is by far, in a way, the like the most optimistic, mm. lighthearted, and sweet. It's 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 like a it's like one of those anime characters who like a Tanjiro from mm -hmm. Demon Slayer who's like, like nothing's going to bring me down. You can't stop me from being the good guy that I yeah. am, right? And fighting against adversity to, to remain morally superior, right? Yeah. And that's just that film. And I embraced it, and I had a great time. And as long as, as, long as you do, I was super into this. I, I really enjoyed the characters. We, both of us, were, were absolutely stressed that certain characters were going to die. Oh my God. Yeah. And we were like, Oh no, no, don't like, do that. Yeah. So we're, she's more into it than she's letting on. No, I, I didn't want, I didn't I really want it to seem like I wasn't into it. I didn't want it to seem like that. I was just like, I don't know. I just, I just know that like a lot of live action anime adaptations, people just generally like, they don't like them in concept. And that's not that I was trying to like, I don't know, but I, I want to say that, it is a really it is a really fun film. It is very sweet, like you said. And I think that zombie movies, like I think zombies in general lend themselves really well to com to comedy because there's so many like zombie films like or shows, like I'm thinking of The Walking Dead, where the zombies are kind of just like a background obstacle. And I did feel like that was the case in this film. Like they were there. They looked cool. They were zombies. But like you said, like, basically not until the end do any of them actually start, like, dying. 
they yeah. just are like pushing them aside or moving them aside or whatever. And I'm fine with that. I just, it's funny because it's like you would think that that would be kind of the main obstacle or enemy or whatever. And obviously the film is much more about like pursuing your passion and what makes you happy. Yep. So it's a fun film. It is, if it is fun. It isn't for people who don't like live anime adaptations or like horror fans who only want to watch things that make them feel like shit. <laughs> um, but it's a good one. It was, I'm, it was enjoyable. I'm able to embrace the style if the style is presented yes. in an appealing way yeah. to me. And this one was appealing to me in the way it was presented. Yeah. I don't need everything to be dark. I, I, I mean, if you've watched the channel enough, or if you've married me and hang out with me enough, <laughs> you know that like I'm always the guy that wants the movie to have ended darker. Sure, or yeah. for things to be more messed up. Like that's oh that's like nine times out of ten. I'm always like, oh, why didn't they kill the kids? Yeah. <laughs> why didn't why didn't anyone yeah. get raped? You know, like I'm that guy in in a lot of the movies and a lot of the horror movies we watch, and even non horror movies sometimes. Um, so, but that's not because I need that in every movie. No, it's because that's the tone they're going for, right. but they don't commit, right? And this movie is very contingent upon your buying into and or like likability of our main character and his and his goal of yeah. just being the happiest best guy he can be yeah and that is just you know if you like zombie land or something like that except for much more playful mm -hmm. and 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 no zombie action in the sense of like killing zombies yeah then I don't know. It's you know Japanese films when they're like playful and sweet. They're yes. everything in everything with Japanese uh, entertainment that I've ever watched is like everything dialed to eleven. Yeah, it's and awesome. that's just this movie. So. <laughs> yeah, it was um, fun. I had I had a really good time watching it. Yeah, and it, the creature at the end is so cool and so like what <laughs> it's just we did not see it coming it's not what you expect at all i mean obviously if you've read the i'm assuming it's in the manga or the anime yeah but we were not familiar with this at all we just saw a trailer on netflix one day and we were like oh my gosh that totally looks like our kind of film yeah and we just watched it it's gonna be too sweet for a lot of our horror fans yeah. and it's going to be not faithful or enough or something for the anime fans. So this yeah. one definitely, it's a weird one. It, it's going to have, it's going to have a, uh, a big hill to climb over to, to find its fan base. But I think it'll, I think it'll find it eventually. And it absolutely is open for a sequel, yeah. how it ends. And I would watch it. Me too. So, yeah. uh, maybe we'll check out the TV, the anime show that's currently on Netflix. I'm not sure. I'm totally interested in it to see and compare. And if we do watch it, we'll discuss it here. Anything more on this movie? No? Okay. Well, let us know if you watch it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You even say bye. I said bye. You're like... I was just like... <laughs> literally how I said it. Yeah. <laughs>